there's enough light to do this video, I was putting together a, what I call a story basket for my um, toddler niece who's coming to visit for Thanksgiving and it's turning out really cute so I thought I'd show you guys a really, it could be a really cute gift idea, um, inexpensive really depending on what you choose to put in it. Um, but it's just a really, another really good way to link um, learning and literacy and play together. Um, I picked up this little chef set from the dollar spot at Target. I think, yeah, it was $5. And it came with just this little um, chef's hat and a little apron. And so I picked that up and then I picked up this little... Um, little like gingerbread cookies and the box is made to be a um I think like a little cookie sheet but I pulled a better one let's see this was also five dollars but I pulled one from our little toys that she can use when she's here so anyway I got those two things and then I rummaged through our play food bin and I found um this little cookie sheet that we had put the cookies on and I found some a mixing bowl, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a little whisk, a little um, cookie cutter, a wooden spoon, a rolling pin, and a spatula, and a little oven mitt. And I, do, I might grab, we have some little plastic eggs that you can pretend to crack. I might grab some of those too. And then I just borrowed some books from the library to go with it. So this is an all-time favorite. I love this book. I love letting the kids help me act out this book. It's just Mr. Cookie Baker. Anything by Monica Wellington is so great for that kind of toddler, early preschool age. Um, but it's real simple. It goes through the process of making the cookies and decorating the cookies and selling the cookies to the hungry children so all these pieces she could act that out and then I just put a few Christmas specific ones in to make it fun Christmas cookie day which has lots of sparkly um, pictures in it so I think that'll be fun and then this one called Santa's cookie is missing so I thought that would be fun too. And we can play little games. We can hide a cookie, one of the cookies, and see if we can find it. And all kinds of activities that we can link to that um, and play with her when she's here. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm just going to put it in this um, tray like this, this basket, and have that out for her. And I think it's going to be so much fun. And really, I only spent $10 because I decided to borrow the books from the library and pull from what we already had, but you could spend $10, you could make a little hat and apron out of fabric you already had. Um, you know, there's lots of different ways you could do it, but I would say for maybe $20, $25, you could have a fun little gift here. Um, that would just be fantastic. So anyway, it, or if you just wanna recreate this with things you already have, not as a gift, but for your own kids, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and we're gonna get a lot of imaginative play out of it, a lot of, um, together time with her and um, just playing and learning together with with our books as our basis. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll link anything that I can down below and have a good night.